Welcome back to Aquatico, my name is Nilos and we are back here. I have uh, done my very best to make it a little bit more visible what is going on in this uh, factory or our underwater colony. Let me just get out of this uh, screenshot mode because I kind of got lost. And so what we've done here is uh, mark each of them with different colors. You can go in here, check some colors and then you can apply it to type which is a pretty cool idea that you can apply it to the type. So for example up here, all our plastic is now one a similar color. Let's get the game back uh, back alive uh, all of my oil oil pumps they are blue and the oil refineries are blue and blue uh, then we have the batteries and the drones they're kind of yellowish and uh, yeah I think that's oh right uh, down here the food parts here is the red and green together so that's the gatherer part the, fi oh, the fisherman's up and the sea hunter lodge pretty damn cool now what we're gonna do and focus on in this episode is all about getting that uh, that production up here going uh, as rapidly as we can get some more tools going so we can upgrade this I think the first tools we get will be focused on getting this expansion here so that we can double up our tool production because everything needs to be upgraded with more tools uh, at this point I don't really think that we need to build anything immediately so what I can do is I can schedule a little bit of uh, gathering as we go about there's a little bit of gathering and I think we can get like maybe one more gathering going on that's uh, it. It's a bit uh, unfortunate that you can't really sort of gather and oops build at the same time because the the build will then be stopped. Steel Campo is up here, and yes, so we do also have available for here. We have uh, lots of money for, weirdly enough, which I think is uh, super nice. So we'll uh, start throwing something in here. Let's see what we can do. We can take uh, two hundred. 200 plastic yeah we i think we have enough plastic right now so let's use that opportunity oh no 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 it actually uh, should be the seat the uh, seals no uh, sharks there we go minus 200 sharks that's great that's what we want to sell there we go that gets us a lot more money and uh, sells uh, some sharks that's what we want and it's so tempting to click this button but that will do take some of our precious precious uh, tools away uh, this can I upgrade we don't have enough fuel here so we're actually in a little bit of an issue with the fuel oh right that's not a problem I'm just looking at this is taking 64 so we optimize now it goes back to 48 that is what we have available then we can do expansion we can also do performance boost but that would uh, require more tools and we don't want to use that so now we have 161 that means we can also do here and here and here with iron is fine sponge is fine tools not fine we are going to wait on the stuff that requires tools. We are going to go back in here and take a look at what where we are in terms of research. There are some things maybe that we've kind of forgotten. Let's keep an eye on if it says like transport fever, for example. Let's get that one knocked out. That gives us 10% uh, speed on our drone traffic. That's nice. And also a street lamp. I don't know why we want that, but I guess we want the street lamp here. We got the there and then later on it's the small planter, which is actually surprisingly important because for some reason you can't do basic production and but material budgeting which are both extremely good uh, in without getting a small planter so uh, we'll be getting a small planter afterwards there we go we got actually two extra people that is absolutely amazing let's have a look at our situation when uh, when in here uh, let's see we have 10 families that is actually means that we have all the families so we can fit in here uh, there are only 10 buildings so those will be uh, this will be allocated to that. That means we actually should be starting to work on the medium dome, which we don't have research yet, and also takes 50 tools. So that's kind of expensive, but that's uh, we'll we'll get that once uh, in a little bit. We're still waiting for the tools to accrue here. Uh, it's accruing really slowly. I could actually make two tool factory, but as it looks now, I think I don't really need that. I think it's also like the iron can't really keep up with. With, with that so we'll kind of have to wait and then we get knock out the transport fever once we have the transport fever we'll get another one and then hopefully we'll be getting closer to the tools completion that was that research and then uh, medium dome is actually something we can get immediately uh, yeah we'll get the medium dome and then we'll work on the small planter afterwards oh these are this one the energy budgeting is also really good that gets us 10% extra and extra resource that's good well let's uh, get the tools and uh, upgrade this part here and then we finally have the upgrade available here we go for the expansion that doubles our 
food production or <laughs> our tools production and then we also want of course optimization that would be a massive boost to our upkeep but you know there's other things as well maybe the expansion here would be more efficient to get that first that's another 20 tools so we, tools are pretty damn important at this point we're consuming 84 and this one's producing more than enough so you know what even though we kind of said that uh, then i think it might actually be sense make sense to make two tools factory like this and it might be re be a little bit excessive but you know it's uh, i i feel the tools are very important right now so let's get those in here that's the tool factory and we got the research completed so that's got the medium dome and then we're going to work on the small planter and basic production and material budgeting and then energy distribution as well uh, here this one's almost complete and i think this one can actually be sped up if we just get a little more tools we can get trade volumes increased or we can get speed up for return we'll just do this one and what was the next thing we wanted to do was ah uh, let's see this one is building and yeah and the medium dome yes the medium dome is something that's going to be really expensive because it costs 50 and i want to place it somewhere because you can see up here how big it is it's four times as big as the other one and if i build it somewhere like here i think that's going to be good it's close to a hookup point so that's very nice and uh, like here we'll get that in easily and that will then be somewhat close to the other locations and then gives us way more space your residents have their own lives they grow older marry have children they are not just a workforce but we're in year three so it's not really like we're going to be doing a lot of sort of uh generational planning at this point uh, oh it's, the tools are actually accruing up to 11 already and there's no way for us to speed up our food production uh, in any way so I think that one of the things that we could do now, since we are, if you look here, we have idle drones 11. I'm always checking checking this part because that's kind of the most important thing. Uh, we have to look at what are the things that we don't have. We have, for example, a furniture factory. We don't have that built yet. Um, we can build that, but that is more tools and this is more tools. And we're kind of not really getting the tools just yet. So uh, this will also need to be hooked up and I can't put it on that side. So, you know what, I'm probably just gonna have a single tool factory and squeezing that in here is oh, actually right about this new place here. That makes it look like it was exactly on purpose that I did the way that I did. Um, there, that's good. And then uh, we can also start over here, get some more power because you know, I think that power will be, at some point it'll be a problem and we wanna be kind of ahead of the curve on this. Is that? correct like this and like this yes and we will get the pipeline is that yeah and there's some people saying that you really don't want to have it on a single uh, let's see uh, that one here um you don't want to have it uh, like too many intersections oh i just can't hit hit it properly uh, with the pipes because then they will sort of have extra load and they'll be more likely that they'll break Honestly, the, the breakage is just a single click away, so that's not really something that I'm worried too much about. Let's see what we can uh, sell. Musils, let's uh, use that as an opportunity. We'll just basically sell whatever we have enough of to, uh, to get rid of, and uh, that's why we have also scaled up our production here. Oh, I did. No, I didn't do that. Uh, and these are all of this is as upgraded as we can. This one is not upgraded. Uh, it'll get. That plastic is that doesn't require anything. Tools factory again, no nothing else. Then it requires tools. Production boost also only plastic and then only iron. That's great. And then it goes into getting electronics, which we can't get at this point. So this one will also do expansion if needed. And um, we are getting like a ton of uh, of uh, tools at this point. So that's great, which is exactly what we need. And we got. Do we go into basic production? That gets us more clothes, furniture, decorations, or energy budgeting. Mm, this is also like consumption of crude oil, fuel, electricity, and battery production. That is insanely effective, all of that. We definitely want that going. So right now we're just knocking out some, some upgrades to progress into the game before we sort of uh, go from here and then go to the pet feeders, which is like the silliest thing in... in yeah, it just doesn't make sense. We have... What do we have? Like 14, 16 engineers living under the wa water and they just refuse to be happy unless they can bring their pets. I know pets are important, but maybe choose some engineers who can live without their pets if we want to save humanity. But, you know, we get a pet feeder and that's going to cost us 30 days of research to get a pet feeder. 
And without that, we can't do anything else. So I guess, I guess our hand is forced. We will get some pet feeders going. So now we have our furniture building complete. This is very nice to get that. We can optimize it just a little bit more and we get furniture per year. Excellent. Now I don't know, ooh, what is this actually? We are actually running out of iron. Okay, well that's uh, kind of uh, interesting. We're also running out of uh, sponges. So let's build another sponge plant over here. A sponge collector and then in this location I can get to 125 and it's, oh, hold on. I just rotated the wrong way. No need to do that this and we rotate it the other way right that's the sponge collector 125 that's about as good as it can get and then if we build a gatherer next to it then they will actually synergize the gatherers placed next to it so let's uh, just do those in in pairs these two will be built then uh, we've also just been cleaning up all the stuff that we have stored out here i think we've picked up everything that's uh, residual out here no not everything residual but there's a little bit out there it's so difficult to see and you can't just sort of so you would really you'd have is like an option that says fine if you don't have anything else to do go harvest stuff out in the world that would be so much better than looking for these things uh, material budgeting is now what we want we are using a lot of money on this this one will improve the re reduce the consumption of sponge iron uranium quartz stone sand gold by 10 percent 10 percent might not be a lot but it's a lot of things that are 10 percent and that'll just give us like a little bit of buffer for everything we definitely need to get more uh, oil production. Oh, we need to get out of that mode here. These can now be production boosted if we want to. But first, I think it's more important to get these two knocked out. That requires sponges, which is <laughs> a little bit of an issue now. And what we have here is this requires tools. Not going to happen anytime soon. We can do expansion here. That's 30 tools. Wow, we're already getting the tools uh, going here. Uh, we're going to use the production boost first and all the other boosts first here because they are more important. The furniture factory will then go up here for the basic goods and then we're now building both cloth and furniture and my hope is that they will consume sort of a total number of these instead of sort of uh, of each separately. There must be something we have a lot of. Uh, what can we do? Small fish? Yeah, sure, we'll sell some small fish. Uh, we still have lots of food available, so sell that small fish. Um, that is good. It's not going to be a lot of money, but hey, we want to keep ahead of the curve with our <laughs> our trading here. Up here we have this expanded, this expanded. This can be upgraded if we just find our way to get some tools. But I think more importantly when it comes to tools is uh, production, go from production 40 to 60, or just expansion. If we have enough, we have 12 idle drones, so that is good. Oh, what happened? All right, interesting, interesting. That is, uh, there we go. We can then do this to improve. Okay, we are running out of fuel at this point and that kind of means that we need an extra fuel plant as i can see it uh fuel refinery and uh, this can't be built here i want to build it inside this area so we can get that bonus and there isn't enough room here and this is also reserved for the third of these uh, uh what are they called they are called uh, oil oil wells what are they called oil platforms they are, they're the ones that reserve there. Okay, now this is getting a little bit spaghetti-ish and not so happy about it, but we'll, uh, we'll, we'll go up to that. What? What happened? How did that not work? Oh, right, it's because it wants to go through a location that is impenetrable. There. Now this is built, it needs plastic and iron, this needs uh, tools, lots of tools. Let's start, let's try not using all the tools at this point and then just let the things go as they need. I have uh, built the extra wind turbines, uh, water wave turbines, whatever, uh, and they are just paused because we have a lot of power with our latest upgrade. Now with this material budgeting, we actually get all the research we can get. I think this is the only thing we have left let me just scroll back and see. It's so difficult. Oh, street lamp. All right, I'll get that damn street lamp. Let's see if there's anything else we missed as well. Uh, I guess, I guess not. Okay, so we just want to make sure that we don't leave things behind. Uh, so then after that, we go to the pet feeders. I mean, those poor pets, they need some, some feeding, don't they? All right, so we got completed finally our sponge collector thing. So we will just go everything you can see how ish, how big of an issue the sponge collection thing is because we don't even have 20 sponges to uh, get here. That means it's going to be stalling our 
plastic production. Also, I've been using a stupid amount of plastic for upgrades uh, here and there, but uh, we want more sponges. That's why we need this. And you know, I might actually just uh, throw in maybe an extra one of these because I not only need to get it connected, but I also need it to sort of catch up and be more efficient. And the fact that we sort of here, well, we're down to seven. Oof, that is, yeah, uh, surprising. Yeah. Um, this one is 108. I don't wonder if they they are decreased efficiency when they're sort of overlapping. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, we'll put, get this one at 118. There we go. We'll get you knocked in there. And then that's the blast radius and the blast radius there. So that's fully upgraded. Sponge collector. Excellent. Oops. And we got the pet feeders. It's taking quite a while. And we have completely lost all of our money. That is insane how fast that went. Well... Um, is there anything we can do in terms of upgrades here? We could do trade volume up and then we can... Ah, now I can't even do the speed up here. Well, I guess we do the trade volume and then just uh, trade it up. So, sea snails, yeah. Sharks might be a good one there, a little bit more valuable. So, let's just trade 200 sharks. And then we have 80 of something else. So, let's uh, take it up here. Minus 80 of those. And that gets us 400 and something. Uh, resources great and I should just do speed up as well want to make sure that we can get it sort of returning as fast as possible this will be I guess our main way of, of doing it uh, let's see we also had this one in here which had like a few things Mussels, sharks well sharks I'm kind of shipping that off myself um, iron plastic yeah okay that's that's kind of okay but I don't think that's the ones that are most appropriate oh we hey we finally got this one done yay uh so let's build a few extra housing here because right now we hey, we, we have one children one one children uh 10 houses used and zero empty so we'll knock out some empty more empty houses there is absolutely no reason at this point uh to build houses uh, larger than this because they don't do anything uh, we'll get a trade company. No, we'll get a shrine here. They'll be a little bit religious in, in this location. Uh, where do we want it? We'll put it right there. And what else do we want? We put some statue of uselessness uh, there and there. And then we get a bench of uh, procrastination. And we get a lamppost of uh, enlightenment. There we go. Perfect. That should make them happy to stay in our new house. Maybe. Uh, I think that there, I, I hope and think that there will be more stuff up here because right now almost everything happens at the ground floor. We are is our sponge thing coming along? Not really. Uh, we are just still waiting for this and research complete. That is our pet feeders that are completely useless. Enables to construct pet feeders around a house. Clinic is what the next one. Uh, this will help with medical, and I guess that comes up here with producing medicine. I would guess. And then from there on, we have some more interesting things where we can unlock. We're going to work our way towards this. So, for example, the expedition house is really interesting and something we definitely want to do. Uh, we have the guard house, which as soon as we unlock this one, I think we have to do this because we'll be attacked by something as completely silly as sharks. Uh, cages for sort of a racing tuna rescue center for rescuing more people. That's really good. Maintenance depot is kind of useless. And solar plant is... Uh, uh, yeah, allows you to build sophisticated. It's pretty damn sophisticated if you want to do solar power at the bottom of the ocean. I'm not, I'm not saying anything. I'm, I'm, there's light, yeah, but there's not enough light uh, for that to make sense. If it was like a, a wire going up to the surface and then having solar panels float on the sea. Maybe we could talk about it, but maybe more geothermal would make more sense as a source of power here in this underground or under, under, underwater thing. Well, pipelines leaking. Let me just do this, this, and that's it. Don't know why I would want to do anything uh, aside from this. So we kind of have the choice of actually making another plastic plant. Not that we really need it, but the fact that we're not sort of having... Oh, yeah, we do need it. Monthly used. Oh, I absolutely need it. Uh, but I kind of want to just production boost everything. That's 10 tools. Uh, optimization isn't really doing anything as long as we have this much. So if we can just knock out some production boost for everything, then that would be super nice. Uh, well, we're out of plastic. So... Good thing we're optimizing the plastic. That's actually having, having uh, the optimization three. Oh, right, you had to because yeah, things were running out. So definitely need a little bit more plastic. Not just a little bit, but actually kind of a lot more plastic. Maybe this is even like a, a, a dead end. Ah, shark attack danger. See, this is what it's typical. 
So what happened, this is like a, a lazy trigger in my opinion. You unlock this, which means the next one unlock is Guardhouse, which you can't even afford. Uh, and then the Guardhouse allows us to protect against Yark. And now this is where I have to just bang my hand on the table and issue a genuine complaint. A few few shark predators are nearing the colony. There is a fair chance they might attack your people or drones. What is this building? Sea Hunter Lodge. Every year they kill 480 sharks. And no, 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 no. I have more of those. I have another one. So every year we kill a total of about about a thousand sharks. There we go. Now it's more than a thousand sharks per year. And then why the hell are a few sharks? A problem when we literally kill a thousand per year that's that's the kind of thing that it's the kind of thing that annoys me with it with this game is like you think they think about it and then they just forget to think about it they come up with the idea and then go like yeah sharks are dangerous like no they're not dangerous not if you have someone who kills thousand sharks per year then a few sharks is just a few more food for for selling to other people so Ah, oh, that's the thing. Like it's it's the stuff like the pet. What the hell are you doing? You are. What are you not getting? Missing. Oh, missing nothing. <laughs> okay, good. Um, like the stuff. The idea here that housing per residence twelve per year. Don't know what that means. Uh, but we get like pet feeders. Woo! Like there we go. Now there is a pet apparently, but um. Now we, now we also have a feeder for it. Now, I, what does it do? Plus 12 per year? I have no idea. Residence per year. It doesn't give me more money. It doesn't give me more happiness. It doesn't give me... It just gives me plus 5 environmental points. Don't know. Like, that, that. that's the kind of idiosyncrasies where, like, they... It, it seems, and I think someone mentioned in my stream, that it seems like an afterthought that it became underwater. And then it, it started out as just a generic city builder, county builder. And then it was like, oh, yeah, let's throw it underwater. And then some of the things that, oh, shit, uh, we need to... Bear attacks have to be shark attacks. Yeah, sure. Uh, the foraging for... Uh, the hunter for deer has to now be hunting for, I guess, sharks. Yeah, sure. And then it kind of sort of falls apart from... Falls apart from there because the... Yeah. That's the idiosyncrasies of uh, this game. And it's actually now that I think about it, becoming so much so that I think it doesn't really make sense for me to to sort of continue it because it, it just seems silly. It's, it seems too silly for, for me to, uh, to to just sort of bypass it. Now that, I, now that I brought it to light, it's just kind of hard to sort of push it to the back of the mind and go like, oh, well, that's probably fine. Let's, uh, let's just bypass it. And there are some cool things coming up with the Expedition House as well. But... Um, I think I just talked myself out of continuing the series. Um, sorry about that. If you enjoyed it, um, I'm sure that some <laughs> there'll be some other one playing it. But I think it was uh, like getting started on it. Um, but those idiosyncrasies are just uh, they, they're just dispelling my uh, my my suspension of disbelief uh, for for a game such as this. But there are other under under sea. Uh, games coming up soon that we will also be taking a look at and we'll definitely have we have a long list of new games coming up over the couple of next couple of months so i'll be uh, reviewing those and uh, playing some let's plays and playing as many episodes as i like if for example like cosmetia we ended up playing like 18 episodes and a game like this we ended up playing three episodes so if you want to see new games being uh, played reviewed uh, analyzed that kind of thing then uh, check out my channel i also usually playing them on twitch first and then here on youtube afterwards uh, so consider subscribing like if you uh, like the content and i will see you in the next episode thank you for watching and stay effective